Oh, did you take that short with me? No, I didn't. I didn't Why get not? in on it. I think my internet's a bit slow still. What's your stop loss, um, David? Because mm -hmm. I see you getting into stuff and I'm like, oh, isn't it too close to X, Y, Z? So like, what are your, what's your stop loss and points? I have a five point stop loss. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> like if I trade on ES, the regular, you want to keep that five point stop loss. If I trade on like a micros, I can adjust it. It's not as much, but kind of depends. It's really based off of your risk. Like on I, micros, I can, yeah. On micros, you have a smaller stop loss on micros? No, on micros, I would have a wider stop loss. A wider, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. It ultimately depends on what I'm trading. Like, <clears throat> I don't care too much about the entry. I mean, as long as it's uh -huh. around my area, but if it's like too far off, <coughs> Or if I see something like this where I see a nice pullback, if say for instance I miss this double top here, mm -hmm. uh, right off this area, shoot, let me just point to these. Then I'll look for a nice pullback right against this. Um, okay. Neck and then a continuation. You know what I mean? Okay. And so that you know, if my idea is to the short side, trying to come into this green zone. At least know from this pullback here, I might get an opportunity on a micro level. And if not, it'll come back here and get maybe a triple top. Okay. Yeah, so it's just a matter of like where you're looking to trade from and what your trade ideas are. But yeah, I usually have a five point stop loss on something. Okay. All right, great. Thanks. Mm -hmm.